Hello, I'm Leslie Minahain, I'm one of the Occupational Health Nurse Advisors at UHCW. I'd like to speak to you today about needle stick injuries in the end to try and prevent the occurrence of them within the trust. They can be very distressing to an individual, they can be time consuming and costly to, a, to UHCW. Um, so let's look at the kind of things that can prevent injuries for you. So in this instance, I'm going to say that I'm taking some blood from a patient. So I'm undertaking a phlebotomy procedure. Before I undertake the procedure, I'll take a minute just to think about what I need to protect myself. I will need an apron in case there's any splashes and because I'm having patient contact. I will need some gloves in case again there's any splashes of blood or in case I have a needle stick injury because it's been proven that the risk to you from bloodborne virus can be reduced by 30% if you're wearing the correct PPE, in this instant gloves. I wear a visor just in case there's any uh, incident of splashes to me. And then I'll think about the equipment I'm going to need. What safety equipment is available to stop me having an injury? Do I know how to use it? Have I been trained? So then I'll undertake the procedure. For most of the procedures out there, there are safety devices such as um, safety needles and you should look into them before you take the undertake procedure and make sure that there is availability within your area. So once you've undertaken the procedure, in this case we're using the vacutainer and the needle. And for this purpose I'll just open the needle to show you. Please make sure that you know how to use the particular equipment you are using. In this instance, for phlebotomy, you just put the safety device on a hard surface and push it over. Please make sure you activate the mechanisms. Do not put your needle onto a tray, exposed, and then taped to a sharps box. As a majority of needle stick injuries, occur when disposing of sharps. Please dispose of your sharp immediately into a sharps box that is on hand. Please do not give your sharp to another individual to dispose of. It is in the sharps policy that the user of the sharp disposes of that and a lot of injuries occur that way. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any queries, please contact me in Occupational Health. Thank you.